Alright, so this is the 21 game win streak. At 28, I should face the Battle of the Brain. He has a Heracross, a Umbreon, and I don't remember the third one, but I should be able to win this pretty easily. As long as I get there, obviously. I'm not recording Uppercat, I'm just live streaming, but you can record with OBS. I use uh, the program called OBS. It's completely free. Just Google OBS and you'll see what I'm talking about. What should I use? I know that Umbreon is going to be really tough to kill. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Uppercat knows what I'm talking about. I hate Umbreon, it's such a troll. Should be able to take care of Heracross easily. Gengar would too. I guess I'll answer Snorlax. Iron Potato, I would use Ludicolo, but the thing about the Battle Arena is you only have three turns. And Ludicolo, he doesn't have any attack moves. Ludicolo is more like, you know, taking it slow. So I need Pokemon that can have uh, really strong attacks and that can finish. Uh, other Pokemon like really fast, so it has to be uh, like Solomon's Metagross, Gengar, my low tech. It's up to you, Healthy Carrier. It's complete. If you don't think you could beat the game, you know, like if you think you're just gonna get frustrated and waste your time by the time you get there, and yeah, I would recommend starting over. But if not, you know, just keep trying, dude. It's not. It's really not that bad. Just focus on your Grow Vile. That's your most important one. And like I said, capture that Electric and make it evolve. And with those two, you should be good. Okay, yeah, I'll try Metagross. And for those of you that were here earlier, I know uh, a couple of you were here when I first, when I was streaming in the morning. Is this layout better, like the way it's black, or does it look better the way it was before with just, just the actual emulator? I just want to, you know, be able to, be able to show what's going on, like what challenge I'm on and the streak. Alright, I think that, that that's probably would be best to, if, especially it's if you're struggling right now, it would probably you know serve you better to just try to use Torchic. Make sure you just you know from from the moment you get Torchic until you get to sleep, port, just use Torchic. And I recommend you know like every city that you go to, try to raise them by five levels just by fighting wild Pokemon. That way, you know, by the time you get to the Elite Four, he'll be at least level 70. I remember, I think when I bought the Elite Four, uh, on my GBA SP, I think Blazing was like level 78, and Manectric was 72. Around there. They were both in the 70s, is all I know. So that, that's what you want, that's your goal, because the Elite Four's Pokemon are like level 50s.
it's definitely possible, healthy care. Definitely possible. Um, which, before you get to the first gym, though, you want to make sure that your tor Torchic has evolved. That's what I'm talking You have to uh, kill a lot of wild Pokemon. Try to make them evolve to level 16. Because what happens is Combuskin learns Double Kick. And with Double Kick, you'll easily take out the Rock-type Pokemon. Don't try to fight the first gym without making them evolve first. And then, if by the time you get to Dew Ford, it should be really easy because your combustion is probably gonna at least level 20 by the time you get there. <laughs> All right, Alpercan, we'll be waiting for you, bro. I see one in a Marowak. What the hell? Solomon's coming in clutch. Yeah, don't, uh, yeah, healthy care. Don't focus on any other Pokemon until you get to Slateport. Then that's when you want to go ahead and capture that Electric and just focus on those two. But like I said, just make sure before you get to Rustboro, you want your Torchic to be level 16 so it could evolve. Or actually gonna have a really tough time getting that first badge. Thanks a lot, Healthy Care. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make this a daily thing. Like I said, today was my very first time streaming in Pokemon Emerald, so uh, I'll try. You know, if I'm gonna try to make it a daily thing, and hopefully we can pick up some viewers, and I'll just start uploading to YouTube, and you know, I'll, I'll you know, I'll help people like you. You know, people that just need advice and need some help. I'll, I'll make some guides, and I'll probably just uh, make a new save, and I'll go through the game myself, and show you what I exactly what I did without using any cheats or anything like that. You know, for those of you that are using a, a handheld. Yeah, I like to play on on an emulator. Healthy care. I don't like playing. I used to play. Like I said, I used to play on handhelds, but um, my like it, that messed up my eye. Like my vision really bad because of the tiny screen. So I had to stop. But you know, a couple of years later, I discovered uh, emulators. And like I said, I don't really care about the game itself, like the story and the gym. I just like getting to the Battle Frontier. So when you use an emulator. It really, you know, it's really easy to just uh, train your Pokemon, and it's it makes it it's so much easier in an emulator to train your Pokemon 
like in terms of EV training and whatnot. You could do it in a handheld too, but it takes a much longer time. The best Pokemon in Emerald? That's, uh, shoot. I don't know. That's, that's a tough one. Um, possibly my low tech, uh, Ludicolo, if you give it the right moves, the right training. Solomon is really strong. Gardevoir is really strong. Probably my, my bet, I would, I would say that my low tech is probably the, the strongest Pokemon. Yeah, what's up, Uppercut? Blaziken is a, good, is a good Pokemon too. It's strong, but uh, it's not really. I wouldn't. I don't like. It has too many weaknesses. It's a fighting and a fire. It has water. It has earth. It has rock. It has you know psychic. It has way too many weaknesses. I like its moveset though. But definitely, I would definitely go with my low tick. My low tick is probably the strongest Pokemon. Even if you use a Thunder type or a Grass type against it, which is its weakness, it still puts up a fight. there whenever am I on I lost track oh god he's gonna use counter on me I already know that's the one thing I hate about the battle arena you can't switch out your Pokemon I would have easily switched out the Gengar I would have whipped this food oh counter Oh, nope, never mind. I forgot about Metagross. Metagross is a really strong Pokemon too. Metagross is a really there's there's just a lot. There's a lot of good Pokemon in Emerald. Metagross is really strong. <laughs> a level 100 Bailey. I don't understand. Like the game doesn't make any sense. Why would they keep him at? When I first played Emerald, I was like, what the heck is going on? Why do they have level 100 Pokemon? They're not even fully evolved. I think it would be more realistic if uh, if you immediately started playing tough Pokemon. Alright, Side Beast, I have no idea what you just said, bro. I, I've never played that that game, so hopefully uh, one of the viewers does, understands you. Because <laughs> that was just, that was Chinese to me right there. Crap, I forgot what number was I on. I should be at least number five. Of course it would miss. What's up, Dr. Epic? Hey, hey, hey!
Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Now <laughs> I get that, Psy Beast. <laughs> The thing that pisses me off are the critical hits and one hit KOs. Those are the two things that piss me off. Like, I, I don't know. Obviously, I love it when I get critical hits, but when they happen against me, that's just. it's bullcrap. Or plays like that, like, I don't know, Side Beast, that would have been kind of pissed. Damn it! Solomon's gonna get killed, and then Gengar's a psychic. Or a. Uh, poison type. He's not gonna have a chance. This one right here? <laughs> yeah, you have to have a water type. You don't need to have a water type, but if you if you would have had a Blaziken and you taught a Sky Uppercut, you would have been... Oh god, I might lose this, guys. I have faith. Let's go, Metagross. That's what pisses me off right there, Side Beast. One hit KO moves like that. I think it is ridiculous. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm good. Especially when, uh. Especially when I use double team like 10 times, Side Beast, and it ends up hitting. I think I lost today one time like that. Let's go, Metagross. Yeah, Alpercan, it could be a really good Pokemon if you if you train it right. Uh, people, you know, when <laughs> when I, you know when people saw my Ludicolo, they're like, "What the heck?" But if you know how to play it, I mean, if you know how to train it right and give it the proper moves, it'll be a beast. Um, healthy carry. I actually Call of Duty. I play Xbox, and Call of Duty is my favorite game on Xbox. But I can't stand Ghosts. Ghosts is an awful game. Uh, I also have GTA, Madden. Uh, I have two of the GTAs. I have like three Call of Duties. But you know, I'd, my favorite uh, handheld game is Pokemon Emerald. So this is probably what I'm going to be streaming the most because this is what gives me the most viewers. And uh, this is probably like what I'm, I'm really good at this game. So. But I guess, you know, I do play Call of Duty from time to time. Yeah, I don't have Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I didn't have an Xbox at that time. I have Black Ops. I have Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, pretty much everything you said, Upper Kind, except for Modern Warfare 2. It's whatever's. It's what I like. I don't know. Ghost is. I have like a love hate relationship with it. It's like. I don't know. I, I don't like Black Ops 2. I hate Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. I, okay, let me refer. I like Black Ops 2. I like League Play because I love playing competitively. But I couldn't set the connection. I hated the connection. The Black Ops 2 connection was awful, and then I hated the knifing mechanism, like you couldn't knife someone, it was impossible. So my favorite Call of Duty of all time is still the, like not the very first Call of Duty, but a Warfare. That's my favorite Call of Duty, that game was awesome, I loved that game. Yeah, Black Ops 2 overall, I like the game better, and I like League Play, but I don't like the connection. I like the connection of Ghost a lot better than Black Ops 2. But I miss Diamond Camo. Diamond Camo was freaking tits. I, I can't. The thing I don't like about Infinity Ward is that they always go backwards. Alright, guys, I'm facing the Frontier Brain right now. 
I don't like Infinity War because they go backwards. Like they removed theater, they removed uh, diamond camo, they removed league play. Like I don't understand why they do that. They removed the ability, you know, like when you vote for a map, you can vote for two maps and then random. They took that out. I don't know why they would do that. Like Infinity War is just retarded. Yeah, knifing is definitely broken in Black Ops 2. It is awful. I hate it. Oh, he says I look pretty weak. Alright, little girl. Yo, Psybeast, then why don't you get some water type? <laughs> should be able to destroy. I, I didn't purchase the DLC, Alpercan, for, uh, for Ghosts. I wait, like I did it for Black Ops 2. I purchased it 50 bucks, and I was disappointed with the maps. I didn't like the maps, so I wasn't gonna make the same mistake twice. Yeah, healthy carrot. I have uh, diamond SMGs, diamond assault rifles, diamond snipers, and then for the LMGs, I have two gold, and then the other two I didn't do because you know the game was pretty much dead. When I went up against an Umbreon, and it lasted like two hours. I know Alpercan was there. I don't know who else. I, I don't recognize the names, but... it w I was facing an Umbreon. I think, I don't know what match, I mean, what, uh, what facility it was, but it took me like half an hour to, to kill it. No, honestly, Healthy Carry, I've, I've given up on Call of Duty. Uh, every single year, you know, I'm like, oh, this one's different, this one's different, you know, I try to convince myself that it's different, it's gonna be better, and every single year it's the same crap, like, they try to, you know, they try to give you, oh, you know, for Ghost, there's gonna be a dog, and a female, you know, female character, it's, it's all the same crap, so... Oh, that's right, I remember, yeah, and it was using double team. And my hyper room kept missing. This is game right here, folks. Solomon's is too nice. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's game. Sedinja literally has uh, one HP. <laughs> You know what game I am excited for though? I'm excited for Titanfall. Because the people that made Titanfall are the same ones that made Call of Duty 4. And that's the best Call of Duty of all time, in my opinion. Let's go. That's another silver right there.